Hello and welcome again to our topic for this video. We are now on week number 4 of quarter 1 and let's have topic A and the objective for this discussion on math packs of senior high school for general mathematics is that the learners represents real life situations using one-to-one -one functions let me read the function f is one-to-one -one. if for any x sub one x sub two in the domain of the function f you know what is a domain a domain is the allowable value for the function the x coordinate then we have f of x sub 1 should not equal to f of x sub 2. That is, the same y value can never be paired with two different x values. Direction. In examples 1 to 5, we have to determine the given relation whether it's a function. If it is a function, then we have to determine further whether it is 1 to 1 or not. Let's start with example 1. The relation pairing the learner to his or her learning reference number or the common name for dep ed, I mean for every learner is the LRN. Well, for the solution, each learner is assigned to a unique LRN. This relation is a function and furthermore, two different learners cannot be assigned with the same LRN. Hence, the function is a one-to-one -one function example two the relation pairing the town to its zip code zip codes are fo four digit number used to identify a particular postal delivery area here are some examples of the zip codes then for the solution since each town has a unique zip code then the relation is a function also since no two towns have the same zip code, then the function is one-to-one. -one. For example, three, the relation pairing the learner to his or her senior high school strand, whether it's ABM or accountancy, business and management strand, the TVL, the technical vocational livelihood strand, the GAS or the general academic strand, and the UMS, those are the strands. For the solution, the relation is a function because a learner is only allowed to enroll in one senior high school strand. However, it is not a one-to-one -one function because more than one learner can be enrolled in a particular senior high school strand. So it's not one-to-one. -one. Example 4, the relation pairing a SIM card to its SIM card number. Well, the relation is a function because each SIM card has a unique number and it is one-to-one -one function. And it is a one-to-one -one function because no two SIM cards have the same card number. Then, example 5, the relation pairing a sales lady to her customers. Since a sales lady shall cater more than one customer, therefore the relation is not a function. Because there are three sets of relation. We have the one to many, and that is just a relation and not a function. We also have a one to one relation and a many to one relation. So those two relations the one to men the many to one and the one to one relations are what we call functions let's go over with exercise number one determine whether the given relation is a function if it is a function determine further whether it is a one to one function or not now for number one the relation pairing the only child to his or her mother solution Each child or each only child has a unique mother since every only child belongs to one and only one mother. So therefore, the relation is a function and it is a function because no two only childs belong to a single mother. Okay, next for number two, 
the relation pairing a number to its square root. For number, each, I'm sorry, each number has, uh, each number x, this is supposed to be x, has square root of x as its square roots. For example, we have x equals 9 and square root of 9 equals plus or minus 3. Oh, we have here some technical difficulty. But anyhow, this, for example, here, we have x equals 9. And what are the square roots of 9? There are two. It's the plus or minus 3. Why positive or negative 3? Because 3 squared is 9. And at the same time, negative 3 square dot, negative 3 times negative 3 equals 9. So, meaning this relation is not a function. Number three, the relation pairing a learner to his or her class. Solution, each learner has a unique class. For example, a learner is paired to a math class, science class, English, and so on. Then, the relation is a function since each learner belongs to a unique class. Well, furthermore, the function is not one-to-one -one, since every class has more than one learner. So this is an example of many learners to one class. So it's a many-to-one relation and it is a function, but it is not a one-to-one -one function then. For number four, the relation pairing a teacher to his or her learners the relation is not a function since each teacher is paired to more than one learner next the relation pairing a person to his or her email address the relation is not a function since each person may have more than one email addresses for example i am teacher marichu and i am a general mathematics teacher and i have three email addresses these are one yahoo mail and two gmails so i am an example of a person having three emails or more than one emails email addresses so therefore the relation is a one to many relation so it is not a function so much for determining real life situations whether it's a function or not we move on to example number two i mean exercise number two we have to give five real life examples real life situations which shows a one-to-one -one function okay for example two solution i have here five you can have different examples say a car plate a car and its plate number it's a one-to-one -one relation a car is associated with its one and only one plate number there is no or meaning no two cars have the same plate number the number two the SSS member and his or her SSS number so no two members of SSS or the social security system, no two members of SSS has a unique number. Then number three, the suki card holder and his or her suki card number. Then the single bank account holder and his or her bank account number. Then a certain product in a supermarket and its barcode. These are few examples real life situations of a one to one function for the enrichment activity let me read this for number 1 for what values of k is the set of ordered pairs 1 6 k 5 3k is a one to one function solution oh the k here disappears but the solution for this is actually k is not equal to 1 3 5 and 6 not equal 
k. So meaning, we can have k0. If k0, we have 0, 5, 3, 0, and 1, 6. So meaning, this is a 1 to 1 function. Also, we can have, because k here is not specified whether it's an integer, a whole number, so meaning we have to understand that k is any real number. As long as k should not be equal to 1 or 3, then this function is 1 to 1. And in addition, k should not equal to 6 and 5. Other than that, in this particular value here, we can take all values of k other than 1, 3, 6, and 5 to make it a 1 to 1 function. Now for number 2, let me read the problem. Shira's bedroom has a unique or has a shape of rectangle. The length of her bedroom, let's call it L is 1.5 meters more than its width. Let A sub A, A of L, this is this refers to the area, be the function mapping the length of the rectangle to its area. Is the function one to one? Okay, let's go over the solution. Okay, let's take this as our rectangle. Then we have the width and we have L equals W plus 1.5. In this video, I, I'm this has supposed to be a 1.5 here because it says in the problem the length is 1.5 meters more than its width. Between the length and the width, which of this quantity is less described? Between L and W, for example, L for the length, W for the width. Take a look. The length of her bedroom, L, is 1.5 meters more than its width. The width is less described. The length is described in terms of the width. So, let's have W be the width. And we can express L in terms of the length in terms of the width in this case w plus 1.5 as you can see here the length is w plus 1.5 then of course let's try to rewrite w in terms of L or the length so we have isolating w on this side then we have L minus 1.5 by the property of addition property of equality so we have simplified as w equals 1 minus i'm sorry w equals l minus 1.5 now the area let's note that as a equals length times width the area of the rectangle then a of l when this is l here or any other variable this must be also l the variables in the equation or in the function must be also in terms of L. So area, the function A of L equals length times the quantity length minus 1.5. So expanding this, we have distributing L to the first term of the factor. The second factor, we have L squared then minus 1.5 L. So that is the formula for the area. It's actually a quadratic equation. And setting the values here, giving the values, we have, actually, let's go back to this, L times quantity L minus 1.5. If, if we set this to and the area to be 0, we have to find the critical values for the length. And these are 0 and 1.5. But let's try to use here whole numbers so a whole number greater than 1.5 is 2 so let's start with 2 3 4 and so on up to number 7 and substituting l equals 2 in this equation then we have l squared is 4 minus 1.5 times 2 that's 3 4 minus 3 is 1 and so on just just verify 
you can pause this video and verify your answer and to see if it's consistent with my answer here then we can say that the possible values of x lie on the interval x is greater than 1.5 yes it is a one-to-one -one function this area of l or a of l function is it is a function but to determine whether it is a one-to-one -one function well why is it why is it one-to-one -one? take note that we are dealing with real life problem the length and the width and of this is shira's bedroom and we have to take note that values zero and to the left of zeros for in terms of the length are immaterial in this kind of problem it says here since the values of x allowed in this problem for a of l is from 1.5 of open interval to positive infinity the problem deals with a positive quantity the length and the width so negative values are immaterial so that's the reason why we have a one-to-one -one function another tip for uh, detecting that a certain function is a one-to-one -one function is the horizontal line tests if you drop a horizontal line and it should be the case that the horizontal line must only intersect the, with the graph of the function f of x or any function at exactly one point. If the horizontal line intersects with the graph of the function more than one point, then the function is not one-to-one. -one. In this case, you may ask, Teacher Marichu, why is it quadratic function? We have a quadratic fun function. And the graph is a parabola. Just try to imagine the graph of this function if you have to graph that. But it's just one side of the parabola. And take a look. You have only to take the values of the x or the length values of the parabola in such a way it's in the interval x or l. Sorry, it should be l. Possible values of l lie on the interval l greater than 1.5 because if it's if if our length of the rectangular bedroom is 1.5 the area is zero so there's no area there's no point of discussion in this enrichment activity so you have to set the air the length to be greater than 1.5 and usually the area is measured in terms of whole number okay so this is a one-to-one -one function, although ideally, if we try to look at this, it is a quadratic function, the graph is a parabola, teacher Marichu, and it is not a one-to-one -one function, although it's a function. But I tend to be disagree, and I'm very firm in my position that this is a one-to-one -one function since we are dealing with positive quantity, the length and the width. And we cannot take zero up to the negative of the values of this area because it's nonsense. So when we are talking of the real life situations, we have to consider, well, it should not give us the value of zero and the negative. It should be positive. So hope you like my video. And this is all for now. And... This is again Teacher Marichu saying always stay happy, healthy, and safe. Thank you. God bless.